Welcome to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to finish up this. Alarms, axles, um, hubs and bearings. First things first, we need to go ahead and get in here and tighten up some of the clamps to those new turbos, button things up there, put the starter back, then we'll move back over and uh, to the driver's side, remove all of the suspension components that we need to on there, prepare it, and then we'll move down to dropping that front differential out and uh, making the few cuts we need. To Now that we got that installed, we're gonna come down here and just go ahead and mark this drive shaft so when we take it out, we orient it in the same direction. Let's see. So now we're going to go ahead and move over to this other side, uh, driver front, uh, remove this tire and start taking the suspension components apart. That way we can go ahead and, and replace the turbo and the manifold and then back to finishing up the suspension. And yes, I know I need taller jack stands, but got to work with what I got. So next step, we're going to get this turbo off here, this manifold off, get it replaced with the new one, and move to the suspension. So we're down to the last three. Got those back bolts off. That one was kind of difficult, so we had to heat it up. Um, we'll have to grind those out of there so we can put the new studs through. Uh, last thing, take those last three off and remove the turbo. So we got it off there. Looks like we got all of our studs on this one. So none of them are broken on there, but we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the new manifold. And there's that old turbo. All right, now you can see, got the manifold off. Got a couple studs to get out and clean this up a little bit. Once again, cut those off, get them out of there and install the new one. All right, so we got that all off. 
and now we have the old manifold, the old turbo, new manifold, gaskets, new studs, new turbo. I uh, just wanted to show you guys the difference here. You can see how we have the extra bolts to prevent them from warp. That was just like the other side. The other side is the one that had the broken stud and it was due to this factory design flaw. So BD Diesel had gone ahead and fixed that, added the, the other studs that are already in the block. I mean, you, or in the head, you don't have to drill or tap anything. Um, it's all there. Um, so let's go ahead and use the, the new studs, install those, put the gaskets and, and stuff all on the new turbo, and then we'll be ready to install it. So we got that manifold on there. Uh, next step is going to be to install that turbo. Uh, after that, we can get back to finishing up the suspension, uh, maybe throw a little bit of paint on this frame and see if we can get this thing knocked out. All right, so we got that turbo on finally. Everything's looking good, bolted up. Next step. We're gonna remove the suspension here. We'll get down, get to that sway bar, cross, cross member there, make our template, make our cuts, and start reassembly. So we got that off there, as you can see, a little dirty, not too bad. We do, however, need to take the dust shield off. Tyra, let's see here. This hub actuator needs to come off and we need these studs for the hub. So go ahead and remove those and put them on the, uh, the new spindle. And I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this cross member here and then we'll make our marks. And we also need to drop that differential and we need to clean up all this oil down here. We'll also try to figure out where that's coming from just so we can address that in the future. Do it again. What's up guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a couple of days. Um, I've since finished up the truck. Got the lift completely buttoned up. Turbos are on, buttoned up, manifolds, everything's good. I did have an intercooler leak and uh, I can put a little clip in there showing um, how, I, how I detected that. Uh, so I did throw, swap in another intercooler. I went with a factory one. Uh, just for now, I do want to put a uh, an aftermarket one in there that mounts up higher so I can do the hidden winch um, back behind the bumper. Uh, so that'll be something coming up in the future, and I will keep you guys updated on it. But, yep, everything turned out good. Um, tires are great. No rubbing, no issues. Um, however, <laughs> they were supposed to have TPMS sensors in there, and they did not. So uh, I got those in the mail. And I'll be having those installed here probably this week. And that way I can get that TPMS light off the dash. So that'll be it for this video on the on the turbos. <laughs> Sorry. Sidekick running through here. That's the, the turbos finished up. <clears throat> Manifold's finished up. Lift kit finished up. And um, turned out great. So yeah, real quick, if you haven't checked out the video, uh, Little Tim got a Craftsman 20 volt 
power wheels. Uh, he's out here ripping it around. And that, that was a, a pretty good find, I think. He's enjoying it a lot. It's pretty quick and uh, it's cool because you can swap those batteries pretty quick. You know, this, this power tool batteries, just put them on the charge and when one runs out, just swap them out. So he's got plenty of time to ride. All right, thanks for watching. If you like, give it a thumbs up. Put your comments down below and we'll see you next time.